got one. We got one. Man, this thing's gonna be tasty. Let's get it on ice. All right, welcome back everybody. Today we're gonna be targeting trout. And as you can see, we're in a bigger boat on a bigger lake. First things first though, I have to give a shout out to my lovely wife who's at work so that I can come out here and fish. I love you, honey. All right, straight down to business now. We're going to use the same techniques that we used in the smaller lake, but this time instead of running line weight, we're going to run downriggers. But we're gonna use the same lure and dodger combo that we did before. So let's take a look at that real quick. We're gonna be using this dodger with about a 30 inch leader and a max wiggle Gucci with a double hook setup. And we're going to tip this with some worm. Now, if you don't have downriggers, that's okay. You can still use line weights and you'll be pretty pretty effective. You're just gonna have to concentrate and, and play around with what speed to get what depth that the fish are at. The nice thing about the downriggers is you can set the depth to target where the fish are holding. All right, let's get this tipped, get these rigs out there and see if we can find some fish. A little tip, stun him, makes it easier to put him on the hook. I go down to this meaty part right here, and then I double hook through this collar. There's one. All right, hopefully you can see that. The action this gives is a little bit erratic, and I think that's why these work really well. So let's get this behind the boat and get to fishing. Now for the tricky part. We're gonna click, clip our line. Without falling in the water. To our line release. We'll drop this down 12 feet. That'll be a good starting point. All right, so we've got both lines set out about 80 feet behind the boat. We're down 12 feet and 14 feet. We'll see how things go. We're gonna troll 1.2 to 1.8 mile an hour is usually pretty good, but don't be afraid to experiment a little bit if it's really slow. You can also do S turns, and what I like to do on a really calm day is just give the boat a little rock. Any kind of action like that sometimes can trigger a strike. Sometimes these fish will follow the lure for a very long time, just waiting for that uh, reason to hit. So now we wait. Oh, there we go. There we go. We already got a hit on this one. The camera was messing up. I just reset it. I don't think he's on there. Though. All right, so we're five minutes in and we already got our first hit. I don't think we, we caught him though. We're gonna have to check our bait. All right, so we're five minutes in. We've already missed our first fish. Not necessarily a bad thing. It means they're out and they're willing to play. Now we just gotta get them to commit. Well, we finally managed to hook one, but it's a tiny one. I guess it's not too bad. Grab a little fish. Now, because we're using bait, anything we catch goes towards our limit. So, we're going to be keeping that one. All right, so far, we've had three or four hits and one fish on the orange. So, one more, either strike or fish on the orange, and we'll change the other pole to an orange color. Because it's definitely doing better than the green. All right, it just shows that you should definitely check your bait every once in a while. I reeled up the green one. Because I never, I don't remember even getting one hit on that, and the worm was gone. So we rebaited it and set it back out. A lot of times, they won't touch half. If, if there's got to be just enough of the worm sticking off the back for them to really be interested in hitting. Today seems to be a little slower, but I think it's got something to do with all the junk in the water. We may have another small one on. I'm gonna add a little garlic scent 
guys are biting. Shoot, we've got one on the other line. Oh, wow. Did you guys see that? This dude's going crazy. Oh, I might have lost it. Yeah, I think he threw the hook. He threw the coming at me. No, 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 he's still right there. Oh, it's a nice one. I'm gonna need the net for this one. That's a nice one. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Oh, moly, that is a nice one. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah, come on. Oh, he won't go in the net. There we go. Oh, that's a nice one. He hammered it, too. Look at that. That's a nice one. Good fighter, too. Too bad my GoPro died. I don't know what's going on with it. Alright, so we just caught a pretty nice one. And that one was on the green. So, I don't know what's going on with this GoPro. The battery is basically dead. I haven't recorded hardly anything with it. But, anyways. We'll work through it. Alright, let's see what we can get. Let's go. I, I, as usual, I'm messing with this stupid camera, and I just got pulled off here. Let's see what, if we got anything. Nope, nothing. Just got hit. Alright, let's get this back out there. Green might be the color. Alright, I missed a strike, and I think I got one over here. I think it's right in there. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, I think I've got two. Oh man, I think I've got doubles. This rod's gonna fall out of the boat. Oh, I think I. No, this one's still there. Just a little one. Yeah, this is just a little guy. Boat in it. Rock! Alright. Not bad, number three. Now, do we have one on this line? No. I think we just might have got a strike. Well, that was some action. Let's get baited up and get back in there. Whew. All right, a little recap. We had a strike on this one. I pulled it. I was pulling it in to check the bait. Caught a fish on the other one. While this one was long lining, basically, I got another hit on it. So we got one more in the boat. We got both rods back out. We're back at it. Slow. We should probably sit down and. <sighs> the nice thing about these mini wiggle hoochies and these dodgers is that they will put some action in even when you're going incredibly slow. Unlike a spinner blade, which needs a certain speed to actually rotate and flash right now we're just drifting with the wind there's nothing better than drifting like this and then hearing one of these rods pop off Bonk. any second now would be good any any second No. I think we got one here. Oh yeah, we got one. We got one. Hopefully the camera's on. Yeah, not a big one. Side plane in a little bit here. Come on, buddy. It's getting real slow there for a bit. Not a bad one. Come on, buddy. Play out a little bit. 
let's uh oh man nice one fight and get it. let's see if we can swing him in oh yeah we can oh oh come on come on come on back in the boat oh he has definitely got double hooked on this guy all right number four in the boat excellent I got hit, I was setting this other pull up for when we get closer to shore. Always when you least expect it. We did pretty good. It took us a little while to get the four in the boat. We've got one more to go. I could probably pick one up here. But I think what I want to do is head to the north end of the lake. See if we can pick our last one up up there. And maybe go for... Maybe we can find some crappie or something. Right, so what we've got is the creek inlet is right over there we've got it's kind of like a T there's two big coves on either side so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna motor over there we'll drop our lines in and then we'll troll right past the inlet where the creek comes in usually a pretty good spot especially early in the year I found this year it was very productive up here we've got one more trout to go before we've hit our limit. Let's get over there, get our lines back in the water. All right, I was just setting my lines out and it looks like I hit something before I even had the line out. Oh, I think I lost it. Nope, it's still there. It's like a tiny little trout. Okay, well, I guess that's it for trout for us. Put on a little trail. All right, that's it. All right, well, that's our last one. We are limited on trout. Now we're going to have to go for some other species. All right, well, we're done with our trout limit. We caught them all on the Dodger and Max Wiggle Hoochie tipped with worm pretty good day it's still pretty early and I think I'm going to see about catching maybe some panfish I don't know where they're at it's a deep lake and there's not a lot of bottom structure other than rock but the entire lake is covered with rock so it makes it a little hard to pinpoint see what we can do first things first though I need to take care of those fish clean them up and get them on ice well all in all I'd say we did pretty good Biggest one here is about 17 inches. It's a nice thick. Get some good steaks off that. And a bunch of these smaller ones, which smaller ones, their uh, smallest one is right at 12 inches. That one's meh, 13 and a half maybe. Not too bad. Get these cleaned up, get them on ice. We'll get after some uh, spiny ray or some perch or something. that nice looking orange meat there yeah, there's one I'll take a half a second to appreciate how nice that fish is this one will probably go on the smoker all right let's get it clean now if you like eating fish as much as you like catching fish like I do that's what we want nice orange meat Man, this thing's gonna be tasty. Let's get it on ice. It's one thing I like carrying with me, a little collapsible bucket and one of these dollar store scrub brushes. Real nice for cleaning up. Well, I've been here for quite a while. 
very slow. Some little tiny bass in the shoreline. That's about the only thing I've seen in at least the last hour. So I think I'm going to call it a day. Successful day. We caught trout. Was really hoping to find some crappie or some bluegill. Might have to wait until the weather warms up a little more. So, well, hope this was useful to you. And I will see you in the next one.